Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to show you a really simple way of keeping yourself focused on what is really important. And to do that we are going to use Evernote's new task features. Well, it's not that new, it's been out for a few months, but I've been struggling to find a really good use for it. And recently I came up with an idea and I think this will help some of you who don't want to be using an additional to-do list manager. You can do everything in Evernote if you keep it simple. Let me explain. That's what we're going to do when I show you this video. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let me take you into Evernote now and show you a really simple way to keep you focused on what is important. Right, so if you follow this channel over a few months or years, you will have seen my video on creating a daily note in Evernote. And if you haven't seen that video, then I will put a link right up at the top so that you can go and see it. Now, what this is all about is getting you focused in on the things that are really important to you and using one of Evernote's new features, which is tasks. Now, I use personally a task manager. This is not something that I would do myself, but not everyone does need a task manager. So this is how I would set up so that I stay focused on the really important things. Right up at the top of the daily note, underneath the date, I am going to type in today's priorities. Now, I know priority really shouldn't be a plural version because there should only ever be one priority, but that's not reality. Reality is very different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create today's priorities right up at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, what are the three to five things that I must do today? So I'm going to start off with, well, I need to exercise. That is a must. And what else do I need to do? I need to uh, complete my YouTube videos. So complete YouTube uh, videos. Uh, I must do my weekly newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to that already, you details of that are in the show notes of this video. And I need to take uh, my dog out for a walk. And I know that's not should not normally be a priority, but it is with my little boy. So there you go. I've got four things that I really must do today. These are, if nothing else, as long as I get these four things done, I will be very happy. First of all, we need to convert them into tasks. I'm going to highlight them there. I'm going to go into plus and I'm going to create task. So that's now created four tasks. Now you'll see something happens. We've now got purple circles, which means that when I check it off, it comes off like that. And you'll see in the actual note here, task completed. But that's not enough. If I go to my task section of Evernote, what it's doing now is telling me that the note dated the 24th of September has these four tasks. And that's okay. I mean, that might be good enough for you. But what I really want to do is now when we go into here, we can actually add a date. So I can do today and set the due date and go into here and set the due date uh, today and set due date. And by the way, if you want to go deeper with tasks, it's not something that I'm actually going to do because it's not really something that I would use. However, that said, I know, as I say, this could work for a lot of people. And even if you are using a task manager, 
you can still use this for your objectives. If you're following my time sector system, you can use this for your objectives, the two plus eight objectives. You can put them right here. So now when we go into tasks, I have these set up. These are all due today and that's really the only thing that's changed. But I can now use this section here. So this removes the assigned note and I have it right here. If I do want to go to the note, I can just tap on that and it will take me to the note. And so that's just a few ways. This is just a really good way of getting you focused in on what you need to do. Now, the caveat with this, this will only work if you're giving yourself the 10 minutes at the end of the day to do your daily planning. If you're not doing that, then forget it. This is not going to work. If you want this to work for you, you need to make that commitment to yourself right here, right now, to say that every day, at the end of the day, I am going to create the next day's daily note and I'm going to type out my priorities for the day. The other caveat I would say is don't go beyond five tasks because once you go beyond five tasks, it's not a priority because, you know, the old saying, if everything's important, then nothing's important. This is a really good way of keeping you focused and keeping you on track with the things that you must do each day. But you need to be stepping away from that daily hustle and bustle when you do this so that you can actually think. Now, the other thing that I would suggest you do is you put a divider in here once you put those and then you can actually add more notes. So keep these up at the top and then just make sure that as you're adding to your daily note and for those of you who didn't see it, you can put all sorts of things into here into a daily note and then you can track what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Incidentally, what you could also do, let's just say uh, I've got a, something here, slide deck to ABC by Friday. If I just remove the bullet point, oops, if I just move the bullet point there, I could turn that into a task. Uh, I'm just going, well, I'm going to turn that into a task and I can add a date to that. So let's just say that I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to go into October. October, oh, Thursday, we're going to do it on Thursday, so it's going to be September the 30th, so I'm going to tap on that, set due date there. So when I go into my tasks here, it's now next seven days, it's coming up with what I have to do right there, and again, it's taking me back to the note, so I can go straight back to the note and to see what I have to do. And notice what happened there. It didn't start up at the top of the note. It started at right there, what I've got to do. So this will then remind me. So it's a good way of connecting things together. And it's a really good little trick. So those are the way I, I would use tasks if I was using tasks in Evernote. It's a great little extra Maybe not for everyone, but it could work if you are wanting to not have a full-blown task manager and you just want to be able to see the things that are really important to you each day, then this is a great way of making sure that happens. Well, thank you very much for watching this video and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now, I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.